Hello, friends and neighbors. Welcome to another production of the program. Here we are on TV once again, once a day, every day. Turn on the machines and work forever. It's episode 4213, 4213. Uh, a good number. It's, uh, it's towards the end of death week. The first day of April. To give you some context for the future, if you're looking back and wondering, what day is this? Where am I? Who are they? Uh, what, what is it? What it's all about? Yeah. It's all about the days, I guess. It's, uh, yeah, Friday, go over there. Go over there the thing. Hey, couch? Uh, yep, couch time. Hey, there's somebody already on the couch. Hey, Oops. doggy dog. Patsy. Hey, Patsy. Aw. Oh. You ready to talk to the viewers, Patsy? I'm alive. That's right. Oh, barely, though. You know, barely alive. I've been saying this thing. I've been, I was thinking about like why I've been saying this thing about being stabbed. Uh, it's the alive thing. That's why. Oh yeah. This is I'm 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 trying to add on to the beginning, so that eventually, the whole show will be an intro, and then I'll have an hour. It's like uh, slowly developing a whole hour's worth of things, and then instead of saying things, wow, instead of saying anything ever new, I just yeah. sit down and then I say. An hour thing every day. And then other people could do it with you. They could just recite it every yeah, day. Yeah, you together. recite it. Yeah. But uh, I'm alive, but barely, you know, because we're on the edge. And all yeah. it takes is a little stab, and then you could die every day, you know? So That's true. That's true. We're, uh, Wouldn't take much. Yeah. That's part of the thing. I don't know if I'm going to keep at it, maybe eventually. Uh, yesterday it was Thursday. And I was here. I noticed you got a bigger cup. Yeah, I actually got a second cup. Where's the first cup? I should take that right one. Right in front of you, I think. Yeah. Right? Yeah, like the, like the, the pint glass. The idea is to wash the cup periodically. <laughs> Instead, this other cup is just like sitting in front. Yeah, uh, I'm supposed to wash it every once in a while. And then once I wash it, I bring it back and then I take this one with me. Uh, that would be the, like, I guess, sanitary thing to do or something. Right. But. So far, the system is not quite working. High five, Patsy. Uh, High five. But it's probably better than drinking out of a cup for uh, weeks or for years, maybe. I think that metal cup was years. Yeah, now the dog drinks out of it every yeah. once in a while. But it's, uh, I don't know, that like weird film you're getting from the inside of the like original cup is just like, Nutritional minerals from the artesian well water, I think. Oh, it it's is? Like, it's like mineral buildup, but that's like minerals that are in the artesian well water that are probably good for you. Oh, that seems good. But it looks weird. Yeah, it definitely doesn't look great. It's like, and a big part of how something tastes is how it looks. So, mm. probably good to. Well, this looks good right now, but I gotta wash that one before this happens to this. Yeah. Um, yeah, I was here. I've been going to bed early because I've been waking up early in preparation to wake up early to go to my new job today. So last night I, I was here at like six-ish. Yeah. Maybe. Were you here? No. No. But you were on the phone thing. I was phone on the phone, thing. yeah. I was on the phone thing. With the dog. With the bone. Did the, did the dog finish that bone? No, it's, uh, I almost brought it with us. Yeah. But, um, as I was running... Like we ran around, we were on a walk in my own yard, and we ran just to kind of wear her out. And she, uh, um, she, or I dropped it, fell out of my pocket, so mm -hmm. she didn't have it. Is it gone? Uh, it's probably in the yard. I gotta oh, okay. look for it when I get home. Yeah, dogs have like stronger immune systems. You can eat, feed them things from the floor; it doesn't matter. But they can't eat garlic. Yeah, I want. Yeah, she's been not eating as much as usual. I'm like hmm. actually supposed to be keeping an eye on her. She seems like um, a little low energy today. Huh. I wonder yeah. what's going on, dog. You know, they won't tell you if they're sick. They don't know. 
Yeah. Um, but I went to bed like very early yesterday because I was like, I don't know. I I I think I like get lean too far into things. I'm uh -huh. like I'm like oh, I'm gonna go to bed early. I'm gonna start. How early did you go to bed? So last night I went to bed at like nine. I mean, it's not that crazy, but I was just like, I didn't need, I, I didn't even need to go to bed that early. Did you wake up, like, pretty early then? Yeah, I ended up getting awake at, like, 6 o'clock, but I was concerned about, like, getting to this place on time to make sure that I would get there on time and stuff, so yeah. I went to bed, like, at 9, and, um, I get worse sleep, I find, waking up early. I think it's because... I don't know why. I don't know why, but I, I find myself waking up periodically for like 20 minutes throughout the night, and if I go to sleep at like 4 a.m., like I think I'm not going to like you gotta when you go to bed when you're like actually about to pass out yeah. from that lack of sleep. You're really deep in the sleep after that. Yeah. Yeah. But now I've been like um, dreaming and waking up oh. more, and I've been trying to figure out. You think dreaming is better or worse? or not applicable. It's a good sign that you're in the deep form of sleep. Yeah. You don't dream until you're in like REM sleep, which is the actual um, more restful sleep. Yeah. As, as it seems like it'd be less restful because you're dreaming, but you don't have dreams in like that sort of like light sleep where you are, I don't know what you're doing in the other kinds of sleep that you're not like dreaming. I mean, you're not, I mean, what are you doing? It's not restful somehow? I'm not sure. But from what I know is, like, if you're dreaming, you're deep in it. And that's probably good, I suppose. It's yeah. like your brain's actually sorting stuff out and, like, doing that thing. I didn't set the timer, but that's okay. Because we'll go over there, maybe go there earlier, because I see the thing. I'm kind of hungry. Oh, uh, yeah. But uh, I almost was going to get a burrito. When I walked in here, I saw that thing. I was like, oh, okay, we're going to eat that thing. But um, uh, so I went to bed very early and have weird sleep. But then I woke up, like like at 6 a.m. basically without needing an alarm which is maybe how I'm, I might be doing this I don't know I'm thinking about going to bed at 9 o'clock and being an early person now yeah uh, which is a weird thing You're I think the schedule your TV time and be like when am I gonna watch TV yeah like not late night until infinity well it's like if I do this I've been writing this book which oh, yeah. like for like an hour maybe two hours if I like get off of work at 5 o'clock Come here, do this, and I'll be like going home and going to sleep. I'm like, I don't know when I'm gonna watch TV. I guess all on the weekends. Is that yeah. what people do? You could just read the Wikipedia page for the, the like uh, shows you're interested in. Yeah. Um, cause I was staying up late. It's like, yeah, why are you watching TV? Trying to like fill your time, or what else could it be about? But if you like don't have time. But I woke up very early, and I was gonna, on my way to, to my new job, which is at, at the government, which I'll get there. It's like, yeah, another government job. And I was gonna go to Alberto's, oh, but they yeah. were actually closed, cause too early. Too even. early for Alberto's yeah. even, wow. They said the website or whatever, the internet, not the website, who looks at websites anymore, but the internet But you said, can go to ydhwm.com yeah. to get on the Google Meet and see past episodes. The internet said um, they close or they open at 7 a.m. and I went there and it was like 7:05 or something and uh -huh. they were not open. Oh. So I don't know if they were working on it or what. I kind of figure they sh like when they're open, they're ready to be open. I'm like, oh, is it too soon? Oh uh, yeah. Is it too soon to go? Because it's definitely a thing at at night. But it's too late to go. It could be. Like, it's rude to go to a restaurant, like, I would say, maybe even up to 40 minutes before they close, to me. At least 30. At least 40. You're going to go find one? But then how are we going to uh, get the candles out? All right, Freddie's going to go get fire. Uh, there's a cakey kind of thing over there. But Alabama's is... It wasn't open, and I ended up going to McDonald's instead on my way to uh, my new office job, and I ran into my old friend from childhood working at the 6 a.m. 
McDonald's, um, uh, uh, like, window, the drive through window. And it was weird. It was a weird thing. He's, he was kind of a weird dude, too. He's like, oh, yeah, he, he, he. I was like, oh, this guy at McDonald's. And then I go there, and it's like, oh, man, it's you? I know you. You're working at the McDonald's window? What's going on? He's like, oh, how are you? And I'm like, well, I have an office job, which is technically true, but that's my first day. And he's like, oh, I try to get an office job. So he wants to get an office job because he's working at the drive-thru at McDonald's. And I was like, whoa, this is weird. So that was like a weird uh, blast of something. I don't know. I was like, oh, man, what are you doing? I ended up going to uh, there. I went to McDonald's, and then I... I went over to where my, my job is over there at the, at the government and uh, I had to find like parking because now I have a car and now I'm driving there, which I could be riding the bus. It's like right next to my old job, actually right next to my old hop. Oh, I ran out of batteries. Um, parking pass, and so getting a park, I don't know how much you heard. Getting a parking pass, and then parking, and then um, going into a, an office, and I have a cubicle. They showed me a cubicle. It was my first day, and they're like, here, this is your cubicle. I'm like, oh, man, really? And it's like, you know, cubicles are four walls, with your stuff in it. So, I'm doing it, I'm an office guy now. Uh, I was doing kind of an office job, but it was like work from home office job. But now, office, office job. Complete with bad jokes and office culture and muffins. Somebody brought muffins. Uh, there's muffins and there's jokes and there's inside jokes and uh, I'm there for a long time and there's lunch breaks and all this stuff so that's what I'm doing all day in the morning every day now you'll see me do that when I get here and be after work after my office I'll be like oh hey viewers I'm out of the office and now I'm back here and doing this thing so that's where I came from just now uh, I was working from home, and now I'm not, which is a similar kind of thing. So that's weird. But now it's the weekend. They started me on a Friday, so now I gotta figure out if I wanna go to bed early today to wake up, so I can keep waking up next week, or do I wanna sleep? I didn't sleep all this week because I'm trying to train myself to stay up. You are, are you feeling the cocaine, dog? A little kind of lethargic seeming to me also. Maybe you just didn't sleep well. You feeling okay? I don't know. Um, yeah, so doing that job thing. And then I came here. On my way here, I was like, I'm going to get a burrito. But Freddie made a birthday cake. So we'll go eat that when Freddie gets back. With the lighter, I guess he wants to find a lighter, even though I think birthday cakes, blowing out birthday candles is gross. And so we'll figure out how to put it, put it out, the fire. We're going to light a fire, and then we're going to put it out. Did you sleep, dog? I don't know what kind of dog, doggy sickness or something. You got a cold? You got a dog cold? Aww. All right. Let's go over there. Sitting on the, going back to the booth. Yeah, oh, it's been about the time. I knew. All right, see who's on these messages. Hi, right before I go back to work. What? Uh, I watched one more video and, uh, 
it was quick. Why can't you keep please? They gotta be good please, cause they actually tasered the guy for wielding a knife. Being belligerent, went that. And uh, a lot of people around. And they tasered his ass. Like they should have just properly and everything. Yeah. <laughs> and they didn't just run up and jump on his neck and fucking try to fucking jerk his chains more. But, uh, they did take his knife away and probably handcuffed him after that. I didn't wait that long, but, uh, yeah, he deserved it. He yeah. wasn't sitting on sidewalk, fucking doing nothing except for sitting there waiting for the cops to tell him what to do or something. Um, yeah. So, they got some good cops out there. There's good cops out there. And then there's a few a few bad ones. A few bad seeds, motherfuckers. Yeah. God damn. Maybe I need to go be a cop. That way I can be one more good one. You know, a few bad ones. <laughs> Fuck. I don't know what I'm saying about that shit, though. I don't know if I want to be a cop. No, you don't. One more thing on Ukraine. There ain't no way unless you've given up Ukraine. So you better just fight for Ukraine and quit fucking uh, talking peace. Doug is seeming a little lethargic, I think. Uh, fight like hell. Yeah, she's not eating quite as much. What's going on, baby? Is it, uh, I don't know. You, yeah, you told me about it. Now I'm, I'm, I'm seeing it, maybe. Yeah. Is it, I think it's real. Yeah, I think it's real. I'm supposed to keep an eye on her. Like... No. Nope. What's up, babe? She does kind of seem like maybe she wants food now. We'll see. You missed this thing that I was saying that I'm on my way to my new office job. Yeah. I, I stopped by McDonald's and stuff at Roberto's and the guy at, working at the window was an old childhood friend. What? Who I hadn't seen since then. And he's like, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm working in an office. I got a government job. And he's like, working at McDonald's. And it was kind of weird. Uh, on the way there, yeah. Peace. Wow. All right, what did you get? I'm hungry. I got matches, but we could, uh, oh, it's just a uh, meatloaf. Uh-huh. And then uh, meatloaf from uh, Delmonico's. The it's fancy, like a restaurant meatloaf? Fancy meatloaf. You bought a fancy meatloaf? or? Yeah, well, I didn't have time to make you a meatloaf. Oh, well, I mean... So, uh, I got this meatloaf. Wow, that's very nice of you. <laughs> and then I put, uh, I did put the mashed potatoes and ketchup on there. Oh, thank you. I spelled out your name. Yeah, that's, that's, that's very kind. I tried to do it, but ran out of space. Yeah, there's a place where you can buy meatloaf? Yeah, actually, yeah. It's like a, it's kind of a fancy meat store. Oh, and you, ba too. you bake it, though? Or they already baked it. It's like oh. they, they have a, like a meatloaf sandwich they made it for, and they just sold me some of the meatloaf. Oh. That we're gonna like use for the meatloaf sandwich. Did you get a piping bag? No, I used uh, a knife. Wow. And, uh, ketchup. Oh well, we, how, I mean, how'd you get the the letters? It was with, with like a knife? Like yeah, I just like used the knife. Yeah, we well, gotta get a ketchup. shot of it, I guess, or oh, something. Yeah, did that, you? Is that thing working? No, no. I mean, maybe it's. Uh, you could plug it in. I think we got this. Uh, Patch, this patch zone here. Remember this like weird. Uh, maybe it's, it, might, it might be just powered off. off. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Give it a try. Where would it be on the on the couch cam? Uh. Not, yep. Oh, hey, there it is. Like nice. Oh, that's great. Hey. Look at dog. Dog, look at. Okay. Yeah, she does seem a little confused. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh, loose cable. There we go. Hey, nice. Ken. Knee. Knee. Yeah. <laughs> Neat. At my job, my name is Kenrick. Oh yeah. And um, when I write it down on the thing, uh oh, and then I write Kenrick. Yeah. And then, so I don't like you know you want to write your le like legal name down for jobs or something. Oh. So I do. Yeah. And then they call you they call me Kenrick at my job really? and it's because like I didn't want to say anything, you know? Uh, like they just call you that. So. As a child, I used to make people call me my legal name. Oh, that, yeah? That was, like, what you do. Oh, you like, did the opposite of no, normal things. You yeah, went, I was like, don't call me Freddy. You went to child name after, like, after. I was a child, and then I said, 
call me by my full name. What did you switch? Uh, post college, I feel like, like somewhere in college. Yeah. Why? Why? Um, I wanted to be taken seriously, and then <laughs> I realized there was no reason for anyone to take me seriously. No, 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 you switched to your. Yeah. To your nickname. Yeah. After college. Or like in mid college, I suppose. And you just started telling people. Yeah. Like when you. Hey, I'm hungry. Let's eat. Can we oh yeah, yeah. Let's eat the thing. Um. Um. I'm oh, we got a fire. Got a fork. Well, we can. Or did you get? I kind of wanted to light a candle. Yeah. yeah. We could light the candles and. No like maybe we could put them in something else. Is there something else we can like stick them in? Yeah, maybe we Is should. Not on like the the cake, and you don't have to blow it out. Yeah, uh, this is for rituals, I guess. Yeah. But I want to get, yeah. I want to eat the, <laughs> eat it. Okay. Um, here's this other candle. Mm -hmm. Maybe we can like stick a candle in the can. Oh yeah, there we go. Right in the candle. Wow. wow. And we can just leave it. We yeah. Need to, need to blow it out, and then maybe it'll just go off. And then we could say like a prayer or go. something. And say to all those who have lost their lives and don't get to have their birthdays anymore. We might not deserve this time, but we will take it. Thank you for the time. Yeah. You know what we're going to do? Like some kind of prayer ritual every day with this candle? I think with the religious candle. I think it was. Maybe a Lewis thing. Oh, look at that. Is it glowing red? Yeah, I got. that's kind of why I didn't want to give up on the candle. Oh, I, got, like I got you like a special candle. kind of candle. Oh, what? Yeah. <laughs> it's, a, uh, it's an important day. Yeah. Uh, oops. Patty, come on up. You all right? Uh-oh, let's see. Now the camera I think it's probably just that cable is not great. Yeah. They're like How's colorful that? candles on. Yeah, they actually go with their color. It's a red candle. Wow. Has a red flame. Oh yeah, like get it with the video, yeah. Wow, red candle, red flame, huh? That's wild. Yeah, exciting. Where'd you get the candle? That's crazy. Uh, at a local shop mm. here in town. Well, are the other ones gonna do the colors too? Yeah, I'm sure they would. Oh, yeah. Well, you I, guess do now we get, I guess so, we got it. Well, uh, you know, we don't have to put them in the cake though, but we can. Did you think we were gonna blow it out? Mm, I guess I didn't really think that far ahead. Mm. That seems disgusting. Wow, this is amazing. That, but it definitely, uh, I was like, candles for a cake. <laughs> but at the same time, like, that's gross. I forgot about blowing it out. I just thought about lighting them. Yeah. It's my birthday, but I, would, I think I would have appreciated this more on a regular day <laughs> when, it, when I didn't have <laughs> yeah, to be like, about I'm, me. I'm actually hungry. Yeah. <laughs> I'd like to eat this thing. <laughs> yeah, different color flames somehow. Wow, that's wild. This is not in effect, one. viewers. This is live. Whoa, yeah, this I is trippy. I have my hand. Why is like candles so boring? I don't know, otherwise, maybe this one oh. gonna give us like a chemical, uh, like smells or um, like in a, inhale some chemicals. Um, I forgot what I was saying before I started talking about the candles. Anyway, I was going somewhere with something. Um, uh, what was I saying? We gotta get to the replay. Purple flame. Purple flame. There could be a purple. What, fire. Were, what were we talking about right before we started lighting the candles? That you were hungry and wanted to eat this cake? Yeah. Uh, I feel like I was going somewhere, but probably. I mean, I guess I always am. Um. I don't know. I don't know what I was saying. We gotta get the, get to the replay. Yeah. Uh, All yeah. right. We can eat. We can at least eat this uh, side of the cake. One side of the cake. Yeah. I feel like I was actually was going somewhere. I'm gonna look at the replay. Uh, Do we have a replay going? No. Let's get that back in the system. I've actually been wanting to rebuild the system. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Hello, program. Hello, Gene. It's the first of April. I think we're talking about names. Uh, Maybe. Well. And then you change your name. Uh, you change your name afterwards, and you told people. Um, but uh, I didn't. Oh, because I was uh, I was Frederick. Yeah. I said, call me Frederick. Until after college, huh? 
maybe high school. I don't know. Uh, well, I, I remember I, that they called me in. Uh, I remember like at least my high school friends called me Frederick up to a certain point. And mm. I was like, okay, you can call me Freddy if you want. But then they wanted people wanted to call you Freddy, or did you like? When did you, or you made that one up? Because I thought I I always heard the the bad from you. I heard the bad stories about Freddy Krueger and Freddy got fingered. Yeah, I didn't like that. Maybe that was partially why. I was yeah. Like, no, call me that. Because that stuff is like. It's a good movie though. I think you, we got it on VHS, so you didn't want to watch Freddy, it. But Freddy Krueger. Um, well, both, I guess. I do. I did finally watch uh, Nightmare on Elm Street, and it is actually awesome. Yeah. Like incredible horror movie. Mm. Maybe one of the best of the '80s, I would say. Yeah. But um. Mmm. Mm, it's good. It's good. It's good. <laughs> it's cold. It's cold. <laughs> well, it is cold. Yeah. I don't know. Like, you make meatloaf, do you serve it immediately? It's so hot when you usually make meatloaf. Um, not if it's in a sandwich. Yeah. It's definitely cold, but cake is also cold. Mm hmm Have you ever made a meatloaf? Oh, yeah. I've done it before, but I, that was my intent. Yeah. My intent was to make a meatloaf, but then I couldn't... I didn't have time to make a meatloaf, and so then mm. I... <laughs> One of the regulars at the coffee shop works at like a meat stop, uh. and I said to him, "Hey, do you have meatloaf at your meat store?" And he said, "Yes." So there we go. Mm. It's good though. Or me? Yeah. This butcher paper, huh? Yeah. From the actual butcher. Yeah. Mmm. I really, I really like, like a chocolate cake. Mm -hmm. I don't want to eat a chocolate cake. This is what I want. Yeah. yeah. I don't really like cake that much. Meatloaf is like really easy to make and relatively cheap for what you get. So it's like, it spreads that out in the bread, but then yeah. the whole thing is meat, even though it's yeah. the bread. Yeah. Um, it'd be really easy to make like a lot, a lot of meatloaf and like freeze it. But whenever I make a meatloaf, I just eat it. Well, I should make like, probably just like, like a f my whole freezer, it should just be a solid meat loaf. Yeah. I'm trying to think about how to do this because I'm about to live in a house that is like more expensive than any other house I've ever lived in. Oh uh, yeah? And uh, I have to like stop eating out. Yeah. Probably mostly. Yeah. yeah like, be like one week, one day a week. I mean, it's the planning. Out. That's the hard part. Yeah, our planning. Like this. Like, you gotta get a meatloaf. Maybe. Uh, I was thinking about three bean salad. It's like a classic um, meal you make for yeah. a. It's like the eat or the making the food and everything is not the hard part. The hard part, I, I feel like, is going out and then having like not going back home. Oh yeah. But. You gotta go home every once in a while if you want to eat at home. Yeah. I guess at my my new job there's a fridge, oh. like a work fridge, and oh. they're, already, they're already like, hey, there's an old salad in here. Whose salad is this? Yeah. Office culture. That's like when you have a um, yeah, someone who steals other people's lunches. That doesn't even seem possible at my job. Yeah. Like to steal someone else's lunches, kind of. Because you're barely there. It's like you're there one time. Like, I don't know how that could happen. There's like a microwave there, and somebody's going to clean it, but nobody, like, everybody's office workers, so nobody's job to clean the microwave. Uh-oh. Like, it's not the my job to clean. The main candle has started because of the other candles here. Wow. Fire. Um. Yeah, let's call Gene back. Mmm, meatloaf is good. I gotta keep eating it so I can get a, a base for the pills. <laughs> mm, usually, usually I'd like post something about this on the uh, daily hour. Oh yeah, we don't even have the um, the Wi-Fi. I was thinking that we could, um, for some reason the Wi-Fi works better with the computer, I feel like, than it did before. Uh-huh, but worse for everything else? Yeah. So, we have a second router. I think we should just plug in the second router for the phone. Okay. Leave this router there. Whoa, the, whoa, the, it's 
Hello, Gene. Hi, it's Hi. the program. We're on TV. How are you? Hi, good, good, good. Yep. Whoa. Is it the wax? Yeah. yeah. Freddy got crazy candles that light, whoa, that light up their own colors, but now the wax is melting into a big candle and it's doing crazy color stuff. Whoa, that sounds so cool. Seems cool. Maybe poisonous, though. Yeah, I think it just melted the 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 plastic. Uh, but who knows? Hmm. How are you? I'm good. I thought I put on, found my um, Y D H W M sweatshirt. I oh yeah. On it. Yep. That's good. I think that's the only one. That's what I have heard. Yeah. Wow, well, the fire this fire is crazy, you have to look at the video. Um You're wearing the sweatshirt, that's good. Do you you know, you, you wear it often? No I don't. It doesn't quite fit well. Oh okay. What? Oh yeah. It's like more of a um wearing it I have a lot of sweatshirts where I like wear them because of the warmth rather than for the look, I would say. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is it too yeah. big? I don't know. I don't know what it is up. Well, is I it too? I have another one that's blue that I wear more. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Oh, and then I have another gray one that's a little bit softer. So, got a little bit of competition, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Well, maybe it's time to start a new candle. Ooh, mm -hmm. Oh, we're gonna get to, we're gonna hold the. Uh, yeah, maybe yeah, we yeah. should, like, put it up to the camera or something. Or, oh, yeah. Um, the right one. I got a meatloaf. Freddie made me a meatloaf. It's good. Or not, you didn't make it. You got it. <laughs> Freddie got a meatloaf. Whatever. Better than cake. Really? Better uh, than cake. I would say, like, in capitalism, I made it. Yeah. yeah. I made it happen. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Do you, you have some ketchup? What? Ketchup? One more time. Ketchup? Ketchup, yes, yeah. ketchup. You have some. Yeah, the ketchup is on there. Mm -hmm. um, Sometimes I like a little extra ketchup. Did you oh. did you move into a new place? No, I'm going to. Uh, today I did my first cleaning. I washed, I mopped, and I vacuumed, and I swiffered a little bit, and I did some other things. Well, I washed the stairs. Yeah. You washed the stairs? I did. Yeah. With, with you what? Know, these, uh, well, probably the wrong stuff. Let's not talk about it. <laughs> <All right. laughs> the stairs are... Well, you want to talk about it? All right. Well, you know, there's cats here, and so then they track kitty litter everywhere. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. Yeah. Yeah, it's really mm. gross. Yeah. yeah. The but stairs are hard to clean, so they get neglected, at least in my uh, experience. What was that again? The stairs are clean, are, are difficult to clean, so they don't get cleaned often, and then they're gross. Yeah. I feel like it was, was one of the preferred chores in my house growing up. For me, I like to do the stairs. Uh, oh, yeah, it was on the list. Other things. That's good to have a list. Yeah, um, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you Preferred uh, chores? Uh, preferred chores? Nope. I hated doing the laundry, or the, uh, the dishes. Mm, did you have a dishwasher? I had a dishwasher, and like one person loaded the dishwasher, and one person unloaded the dishwasher, and somehow we thought they were both awful. I, I, I feel like we were just lazy. <laughs> yeah. Kids <laughs> are lazy, for sure. And then you don't know, and then, you, and then you're like, wow, I should have done yeah. more. Uh, I haven't heard of dishwasher ever since yeah. like I moved out of the house and then for the rest of my life I've had to like hand wash my dishes yeah. Yeah. I didn't even realize yeah. how little work they were asking me to do at that point basically mm -hmm. we weren't very organized uh, as far as stories go my mom would just yell at me every once in a while the house is done <laughs> <laughs> ah you didn't do this yet <laughs> you didn't come in here 
Mm. My family didn't want me to throw too much away. That's the thing. You didn't want to throw stuff away. One day I was like, I'm gonna take it in my own mind. I'm gonna um, throw some garbage away. Turned out I threw out some stuff that shouldn't have been thrown out, and then I got yelled at, and it was not good. Oh, what'd you throw out? Uh, tennis <laughs> balls. <laughs> For the dog, I guess, probably. Dog tennis balls. These are garbage. These are covered you in can't dog. Throw that away. That's like for the dog. Uh, that's my memory of that. It could be inaccurate, but I do know that was the day I learned don't throw anything away, ever. <laughs> yeah, that's a good lesson. What? Is that oregano? It's herbs. It's herbish. Herb herbaceous. Yeah. I don't know what it is, but there's herbs in there. You're me you're making mo you're a meatloaf, Jim? Uh, a little bit. You know what? I have a pound of ground beef right now that I was wondering what to do with. Uh, maybe it would be good to do that. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Ooh. It's like, it's like a hamburger that is giant. <laughs> yeah, you can uh, eat it for days. Yeah. yeah. Mmm. Very good. Yeah. I started an uh, I started an office job today, June. I'm I'm working at an office. I've been working at an office. I mean, I've been working at like a, a new new pandemic office job, like from home. But now, mm -hmm. today, I started a job with a cubicle. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Well, how did it go? But they're like, yeah. It's like um the it's a sad life goal now. I'm like, oh no, I did it. <laughs> you achieved it. Yeah. You know? It's like, yeah. it's a sad triumph. It's a weird, it's a weird uh, a duality. Mm-hmm, weird mountain to get to the top of. Oh, we need a mortgage. Yeah. I'm like, well, I guess I did it. You're like, welcome to your cubicle. And they're like, well, <laughs> this is the time. And, uh... Hey, this is my first cubicle. Yeah. Oh, really? What? Yeah. <laughs> You've never had a cubicle you know, before? Yeah. So now I have a cubicle where I walk into the cubicle and I have, like, there's people on the other, on, on the other side of the cubicle um, making jokes sometimes. Oh. Um, wow. Kind of mean, sometimes mean jokes, you know, really? but they're like, what they like, uh... In, in jest. You know, I think I don't care for humor or something. Yeah. They're like, hey, mean comments or something. Ah ha ha, it's jokes. It's jokes though, or something. Oh no. Um, I'm like, that's... Uh, it's not, not funny. I don't know if it's rude. I just don't think it's, it's not funny. And it's kind of mean. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My mic was off. Yeah, so said, uh, funny is the only thing it's trying to be, and if it's not that, it's nothing. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. like uh, borderline offensive on purpose. Yeah. They're like, hey, I'm not crossing the line into being borderline. I want that, like, it's either to me, like, you're either going to, like, say something really awful, um, just, like, obscene. I want to hear it's either obs obscenities. Like horrible obscenities or not joking around. Yeah. I like these like medium jokes. But can't I can't kind of think of like an example of these medium jokes that. But uh, like when they start saying the jokes, it makes me want to to start yelling about horrible, um, unspeakable things. The thing about uh, a cubicle that I immediately think of is the fact that you've got you're like in this. Uh, maybe, what would you say, like a machine, the machine yeah. of the uh, company, organization, or government, whatever. Yeah. But then, like, in this single, probably, like, five-by-five five zone, it's, like, all yours. Like, you can decorate it how you want. You can, like, yeah. do whatever you want. Like, stick it up on the wall. Yeah, my cubicle neighbors stuff. have pictures of what I assume is their families. Uh-huh. And, like, on the walls. Yeah, you should get your own family some, on the wall. Like some of them have toys. Like maybe even a fake family. I have a lot of pictures of my family because I'm living at my grandmother's house. So yeah, bring it on in. That's take pictures. Like, it's like, 
but the pictures of my grandmother's house would be what my grandfather would have. Like you have pictures of your <laughs> own childhood, like, like <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What you need to do is like get the young pictures of your grandparents or something. Yeah. You know, like, like go reverse with it somehow. Or just like, like this is my great great grandfather when he was a child as a baby. <laughs> like those are like actual photos. Like if I what if I get uh, pictures of my like don't get well. I mean it could be even myself like. Your kids look like yourself or something. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. You just put pictures of yourself and your siblings, and then you just don't say anything. But they're going to be like, these pictures look like they're, um, I mean, those are like actual photos. Like, so they develop photos. How old are you? You're like, uh, yes, that is my child. <laughs> yeah. I'm just retro. Oh, you probably, you probably need one of those, like, um, picture frames that electronic or whatever, and so it, and it keeps changing the photos. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm going to have to get the stuff. Like, uh, some people have, like, toys and stuff. They have, like, Hello Kitty. Yeah, you have that stuff. I do have that stuff, but that's not for bring it to work. <laughs> I just, that's like, all. don't want people at my job to know who I am. Oh, yeah. Like, I think the best way to do about that is to um, put something completely opposite there. Yeah. So they think they know who you are, but they have no idea. Yeah, that's why I want to get... All your coworker birthdays would be completely not getting what you like. Pictures of my family or something. Oh, yeah, coworker birthdays or something. It's, uh, I don't know, it's going to be some weird. I, I, I did buy a collared shirt. I didn't even own a single collared shirt. Mm. I, I thought... They're never going to notice until, like, the sixth or seventh day. <laughs> yeah. Well, I bought, like, three. Oh, yeah. And they're similar, so I think I could, yeah. I went to the Goodwill. I went to the Goodwill, and it's like dollar tag day, and then I let the fate choose my work clothes. Yeah, that's good. Mm-hmm. But now I'm. Did you try them on? There? No, I didn't try them on there. I just went by the oh. l- the letters. I got I wore large shirts, whatever large is, and they seem to be okay. Okay. But uh, that's what I'm doing. Today's my first day. Next week I'm gonna do five days of it, and uh, that's my that's my life now. Yeah. Yeah. Five days. No, five days a week, Monday to Friday. I, I don't think I would I wouldn't have been doing this if it wasn't for virus times. And now they I mean, I'm now I'm in an office because it's because of like, I don't know if it's over or something, but it's like at least on the down slope for now. Uh, but now I'm. It's definitely in there for like. Uh, caused by the virus. It's like, so we were office jobs, but now they're like being like, oh, we're trying to redo office jobs. Yeah. yeah. But now it's, uh, I don't know, I don't know what kind of life this is. We'll find out here on the program. Oh, tune in. That's very hot. Um, you ever been in a cubicle? Have you ever seen a cubicle? I think, yeah, when I did like an AmeriCorps year, it was a very bad uh, choice. Um, I worked with the city of Seattle, so then I was in a cubicle in the city of Seattle. Is that the, America's like the mi- peace military or something? Peace military. Is it, yep. go- is it government funded? Oh yeah. I think it's um, supposed to be to combat poverty. The army of yeah. peace. It's supposed to combat poverty. Yeah, well, especially Vista. I think it's especially the Vista. Yep. Combating poverty. How do you, I mean, you know, you combat poverty, uh, give people money. Uh, it's true. You're right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Why don't they just give you the, they just, I mean, they paid you, why don't they should just pay, instead of paying you, they should just pay the impoverished. Well, they didn't pay me a very high enough wage to mm. make anyone not support they paid me a below poverty wage. If you didn't think they were, like, uh, creating more poor people. Oh, yeah. You combated poverty from the cubicle? I did. It was, it was a pretty unhappy situation. It didn't make sense what I was doing. But, um, yeah, I guess I did help people apply for like federal assistance programs. And oh yeah, that sounds like a government. That's, pretty, that's pretty much 
I'm not doing exactly that, but that's very similar to what I'm doing for probably better money at the government. Yeah, good. That's I'm like, I'm applying for an office job right now. I'm yeah. Gonna meet, I had it. It ought to see their offices are now. Most people are not going to the office. Yeah, 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 that's what I, that's how I think that's how I got this one. So now they need people who actually are willing to go into the office, mm -hmm. and they'll say, we need office people for this yeah. office job, and no one's wanting to go to the office anymore. Yeah. yeah. I did start with, like, there was, like, three of us, and it's the, there's, like, a, somebody who's, like, fresh out of college, and me, and, like, an old guy, like, a, maybe, like, 60-year-old guy, and we're, we're all peers. You know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, hey, we're starting this job, old guy. <laughs> yeah, it's so weird. So all three of us are starting today? Mm-hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're trying to get it going. They're trying to get the offices going. Um, I feel like they, yeah, they want me to sit in the office, like the governor or something. Uh, well, you want to get on the meet, Jim? We only got 15 minutes left. I'll make some more calls. Sure. Okay. No, we're on the meet. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna hang up this phone. Okay. Door. Okay. Bye bye. Let's call Andrew. At Grandma's house. Oh damn, no boy. Uh-oh, I didn't start the meat. Hello, this is Ty's phone. Oh. Leave a name and number and she'll call you back as soon as you can. Thank you. Andrew! Where are you? Can I answer the phone? Where did you go? You don't go anywhere. Um. Okay, bye. Alright. Oh, there's Gene. Hello. Hey, nice shirt. Where are you? There. Hey, what a good shirt. Where did you get that shirt? I know. Where can um, you... I think these two folks that I know made it. It's about oh, yeah. like this TV show. Yeah. Happens every day. Guess oh, how long? Every day. It's been going on every day. Where can you, where can you buy that shirt? I, I hopefully I don't know if anybody at my at my job is gonna gonna find about about this thing. Because I, no, I, I didn't. Did they ever find out about this thing? <laughs> yeah. I didn't tell anybody at my at my other job, but maybe they're like, "Hey, what did you do?" And I was like, uh, "Why well, me? I just made a TV show every day for the last seven days, <laughs> yeah. every week." Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, yeah, it, I was at the other. It 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 got out at the other place somehow. Yeah. I don't remember no, how. Yeah, some of them are like. Uh, Regular guests of the program, actually. Yeah. yeah. But, for, this, uh, for when you were working for the state, or when no, you were... No, uh, at the at restaurant. The, the, yeah. yeah. Gotcha. They knew. Some, they, found, they found out. Um, mm -hmm. We'll get more of those. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. but the answer is you can get that sweatshirt at ydhwm.com. And if they're not there right now, that just means they're sold out temporarily, but we'll get them back in soon, so... Uh, yeah. Hi, Kenny. This is Dan. Hey, Dan. Oh, Dan. Hey, Dan. Uh, Doctor Kenny. Yes. You you haven't sent me some any more marijuana. I haven't. And I, I need some marijuana. I thought I did. Did I miss? And uh, uh, did they did they have any have any stop stop smoking? Have they they have any stop smoking? I I need I need some marijuana. The what? Uh, he stopped smoking, so now he's really wanna. I thought you I thought you were a good doctor. I, I thought you were you were a good doctor. Oh, no. 
I'm not sure anymore. I'm not sure anymore. Be a good doctor and send me some marijuana and and I'll stop bugging you about it. Okay. I will do it, but I don't like your tactics. Bugging is fine, but the like I thought you were a cool thing, not the best. Hey, I thought you were cool. I thought you could do it. Like, oh yeah, I'm tough. I'm I'm I give out marijuana. Regularly. Are you questioning that? <laughs> like, uh, I'm a doctor who pres prescribes and, and brings you mail. Doctor feel good, I guess. I wonder if Mr. Gutsu would be like we should get him to do something and then call him a chicken. Hello, uh, hey Dan. Hi. Hey, how was uh, I program Dr. Dr. TV? Huh? Hi, Doctor Kitty. Hey Dan, how are ya? Uh, I can't be doing better because you, you haven't sent me any marijuana. You can't do what? I, I, I can't be doing better because you haven't sent me any marijuana. What is it? Oh, uh, you can't do it in marijuana because you can't do it in marijuana. Dr. Kitty. Dan, Dr. Kitty. Where's my nurse? I think, you know, I think my nurse is a pothead. Oh, uh, she's smoking the she's marijuana. She's smoking it all. I think my nurse either is either like she smoked so much that she forgot. What? Yeah, I can't understand you. My my nurse is either she, my my nurse either smoked the the weed there or blue uh, as my dad somebody said. Are you blowing the weed? You haven't hit me. Yeah, my nurse my nurse either smoked it all or got too stoned and forgot. So that's my excuse. Um, I'm gonna send Dan. Just I'll send my nurse over. I'm gonna call my nurse. My nurse is gonna show up with the uh, um. What, what's the increment of weed? Double dose. <laughs> Double dose. <laughs> a, a fat, a fat uh, blunt. Hey Dan, it's me, Frederick. Oh, I'm here. I'm on the program today, episode 4213. Hey, Dan. Is it Yes. Is it Dan? Yes. Can I do it? Yes, you can. Ryan. Yeah, we're going to get called another line, too. We're getting another phone call, Dan. It's me, Frederick. Hello? Can you hear me? Andrew? Yeah. I'm, I'm confused. Uh, Dan. Uh, I'm on the Frederick. I'm talking to you. Can you not hear me? Can you hear me? Frederick, uh, is that you? It's me, Dan, it's me. Uh, I, 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 I'm, I, I'm still in the patch. Hey, that's great. No cigarettes, huh? I, I, I have a setback. Oh, yeah, that happens, though. Yeah, we, we can see you. Uh, in a week and a half. Really? Yeah, really. What? That's a be sometime in uh, April. April something. Well, well, Doctor, Doctor Kitty is a very good doctor, is he? He is good. I think I think he needs uh, maybe if there's any issues, it has to do with his help. Yeah, yeah. you should see the uh, uh, the surgery. You know, I saved a. a like a child yeah. with a tumor? Yes. Yes, Dan. I want some marijuana. I, I saved a child with a tumor, Dan. You want some marijuana? I, I want some marijuana. Okay. Uh, give me some marijuana. I will, because that child now owes me his life. Yeah. And I'll have him bring it to you. Oh, so you should see those other uh, doctors. Oh, they're not, <laughs> they're not very good at all. The other guy. Yeah, they're not good at, at all. Uh, Andrew, you there? You, you said you want uh, marijuana? Yeah. I'll start calling you back again if you will. Yeah, call us, uh, call the show. Dan, every day. Yeah, Dan wants marijuana, man. I'll see you. I'll see you. I'm not smoking. That's good, Dan. You deserve marijuana. Oh. 
Oh, right well, that it is. He's not smoking, so the marijuana just piles up. Yeah. Like in stacks. Oh, he's not smoking the marijuana. No, it's just there. How are you, Randy? Good. Good. Why does Dan sound like that? Why? Yeah. That's uh, just how it is. Yeah. That's how it is. <laughs> why do you sound like? Yeah. How? Why do you sound like? Why do you, you sound like? <laughs> I don't know. Why do you sound like that? <laughs> <laughs> That's just how he's, that's how he talks. Is he drunk? No, he's not drunk. It's just, uh, like, up, upbringing, uh, life experience. It's just uh, his cadence. Cadence, yeah. He was raised by a drunk guy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't talk about my grandfather that way. <laughs> like, I, you know, if you're like only, you know, like I usually, I mean, people who have like alcohol pants that get worse. Oh yeah. Than, but they're just like slurry. Yeah, they're just really slurry. <laughs> but like you never, you never talk to somebody sober your whole life when you're a child. That's how it goes. And that's how we talk. <laughs> what are you doing, Andrew? Uh, getting drunk, I guess. Oh, you are. How drunk are you? Um, Six? Not very. Seven? Oh, what? Uh, you're getting a, there. A four, huh? Maybe oh, a yeah, four? Yeah, yeah. Um, um, we only got about five minutes left. We had an a exciting hey. day. We got to queue up the Metro of the Future and we'll look at 2018, too. Yeah. Uh, next year, yeah. Definitely. Oh yeah, you figured out the system yesterday, huh? Um, Sunday to Saturday. Sunday to Saturday, yeah. 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 All right, here we go. Code message the future. Hey, future, assess the past. That's right. Hey, happy birthday, future. Yeah, yeah. Happy mm -hmm. birthday. Don't die. Hey, look, Patsy on the couch. Oh, where is it? I think it's got it. Uh, I think it's the uh, what? Oh. There. there. Look at oh, that, Patsy. Patsy's oh, kind of tired. Wow. Is Patsy okay? She's, She's definitely got a birthday. Bye, future. Bye. Uh, what is a good dog? She is a really good dog, but she's been acting kind of, uh... She's tired. Yeah, she's, act, she's like not eating all her food, and um, she's uh -oh. acting kind of sleepy. It's a little hey, hey, Kenny. What? Yeah. Could you uh, buy some tinfoil on the way home? I thought we had some, but we don't. Back from the tin foil? Yeah. Okay, why? Making ribs. Ribs? Oh, Ooh, yeah, ribs are pretty good. Go. Let's see if I. I'm going to stay here? For, uh, for two more hours. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to be here for a while. I mean, you can. I guess you could go, but. Well. I'm going to be here. Uh, that's fine. Whenever you. Whenever Bring some tin foil, eat some ribs. Yeah, like white ribs on your hand or something. Yeah, we got to clean the house. I think my father is coming to the house tomorrow, right? Yeah. Yeah, we gotta clean the house. How's it clean? You're gonna clean that? Maybe we, instead of cooking, we should clean. <laughs> yeah. Bye, future. I think the best way is to cook as you clean. No, no, the other way around. To clean as you cook. Hey, future, it's us in the past. Hey. We're over here. It's uh, it's Sunday, and it's April 1st and Easter and everything. Oh. Easter. Oh. Wow. Well, you can't call us back. You're. In a different time, bye. Yeah, probably. Not yet, anyway. Hey, future. Can yeah. you call the past oh, yet? What if the phone rings? And then. Oh. Yeah. It's like 2020. Uh, Makes me think of. I keep. Uh, <laughs> I keep no, having. 2030. That's eight years, eight years in the future now? Yeah. 2030. Dream, dream talk is bad, but I've been dreaming more since I've been waking up or going to sleep early, though. But whenever I see magical things in my dreams, I just start g g thinking that I'm going insane. Even in my <laughs> dreams, though. It's like, oh no! That's not real! Oh no, I'm going insane. I s yeah. Uh, maybe this is a real one. No, I don't like to talk about my dreams, but I saw a, f like a goat that was on fire, like on the inside, like not on the Whoa. outside, like, what? like it was like coals, uh -oh. like a oh. demon goat, oh, and no. it had a coals, but it was just doing regular goat stuff, huh. and I was like, uh-oh, that's not good. <laughs> <laughs> it seemed ominous, maybe. Yeah. It was like, well, it was like, 
it's a glow, maybe glowy or that just like sound like a metaphor. Yeah, <laughs> so I believe it's like <laughs> out of <laughs> other things. I don't know, but the show's about over. Thanks, Gene. Oh yeah. Thanks, so Andrew. Like it's like a goat that's on fire from the inside. Yeah. Thanks, yeah. Andrew. Uh, tin foil. Tin foil. Tin foil. Tin foil. Tin foil. Uh, Happy birthday. Ribs. 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 ribs, 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 ribs yeah, We're out of tin foil. Happy Ribs, ribs, birthday, ribs, happy birthday. Happy birthday, ribs. Oh, happy birthday. Happy ribs. Tim for birthday. Hopefully I remember. I guess if I don't remember, we can just leave the house again. You're going to come back with just like a big rack of ribs and be like, what? <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right, bye. 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 What did you eat for uh, dinner, Gene? I had a hamburger. Oh, Thank yeah? You. Tots. Did you make it? Where's no. Gene? There's like a car out there. Is there a good hamburger spot? I got it for free. There's a new, there's like, yeah, a program I'll tell you about someday. All right. The program. Thanks for watching. Mm. 42.13. We're on TCTV channel 22, 11, 30, and 2 a.m. Check it out, yeah. What do you should be home on YouTube? 360 call message on TV, yeah! Leave a long message. Leave several, why check it out! Faulty Fridays, yeah! TCTV, the baby, Jordy Pappas, look for first five video. Stop by com, Rebecca, Mount Morgan, Northwest, Western County, Washington State, USA, thank you, and viewers, it's you, you're watching, thank you. What the? Oh, that's uh, on the tape. Uh oh. Mm -hmm. Hey, John! Call me. Yep. Hell yeah, dog. Hell yeah, Patsy. Bye. Bye. Bye.